Hi, my name is Jensen Harris, and I'm Director of Program Management for the Windows User Experience Team. We are so proud to share with you the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Windows 8 has been designed to run across a variety of PCs, from tablets to laptops to desktops. It's fast and fluid and runs beautifully across all of these kinds of devices. Now, when I start Windows 8, I'm here at the lock screen. The lock screen, just by touching the power button, shows me the next place I need to be. It shows me what updates at a glance have happened since last time I used my PC, how many mails have come in, or what messages I might have missed. Now I'm ready to sign into the PC. This is Picture Password. This is a picture that I've chosen, that I love, of my daughters. I just draw lines, dots, and circles on the picture to sign in to the PC. This is the Start screen. The Start screen is the home for Windows. It has tiles that represent apps. It has tiles that represent people. It has websites. It has information that's always up to date and always fresh, showing you what's going on on your PC without you having to launch each app. Apps are what makes Windows 8 great. And I want to show you some of my favorite apps that you can use with the Consumer Preview. The first one is Xbox Live Games. Now, this app allows me to see my achievements. I can see my friends. It allows me to see my avatar and customize my avatar. Here is Cut the Rope. Cut the Rope is one of my favorite games to use with touch or mouse on any platform. And it's here in Windows 8. And it's been built using HTML5 and JavaScript. It feels exactly like a native app, because it is. The People app shows me the people that I care about right here on the Start screen. I can pin my friends and see their social updates from right here. I can tap one of them to drill in and see what they've been up to recently. I can see the photos they've shared, and not just in one service, but across a whole bunch of services. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Windows Live, all in one place. Switching between apps in Windows 8 is fast and fluid. I just swipe in my thumb from the edge of the screen. As I do so, it switches between my apps. To quickly get to a specific app, I can drag it in from the side, and it brings up a list of all of the apps I can switch to. Uh, I can choose a specific one, like Cut the Rope, and then if I want to close it, I just swipe down from the top and throw it away at the bottom of the screen. Here's the Metro-style version of Internet Explorer 10. As I switch through pages, click on a link here, You'll see that we've even come up with a fast and fluid way to get back and forth between your links. I can just take my finger and swipe it backwards within the page, and it goes back to right where I was before. Here's a website that I want to share with one of my friends. So what I'm going to do is swipe in my finger from the right side to show the charms. The charms are the fundamental Windows features that are available from inside of any app. In this case, I'm going to choose the Share Charm. Share lets me share from any app to any other app that supports Share. You can see the list of apps that I can share through, as well as a list of people that I've recently shared with. I'm going to choose my friend. I'm going to type a message and hit Send. And just like that, the website is shared. So far, I've showed you a lot on a tablet. But the most popular kind of PC is a laptop. Here I have a laptop in front of me with a great big trackpad and a full-size keyboard, but it doesn't have touch. The good news is Windows 8 has been designed natively to do great with mouse, with trackpad, or with track point. Here I have my start screen. My start screen that I've personalized for my laptop with a color and with an accent that I like. I've rearranged the tiles exactly the way that I want them. It's easy to zoom out to see the full list of things that I have on my PC. I can name groups. I can drag them around. I can put things exactly where I want them. And now, I showed you before, with touch, how important the edges are. But with the mouse, the corners are really important. And that's because the corners are the single most efficient place on the PC for you to move too quickly. The lower left-hand corner is for start. I can always move my mouse to the lower left-hand corner and click, and I'm immediately taken to the start screen. If I want to go back to the app that I was just in, I'll move to the upper left-hand corner and click. Now I'm back in the Finance app. If I keep clicking, it'll cycle through the recently used apps. Or I can just move my mouse slightly down, and here's the list of all of the recently used apps. I can click and switch directly to a specific app. Using Snap, I can easily see 
two different Metro style apps on the screen at once, or I can see one of my Metro style apps snapped next to the desktop. This is really useful for keeping up with an IM conversation while I'm doing other work, or keeping up with the latest news, or watching a video. I can switch which side the Snapped app is on, or just like with Touch, I can drag down from the top of the screen and throw it away down at the bottom to close the app. And we've made the desktop a lot better in Windows 8. First, I wanna show you the new Task Manager. Task Manager makes it easy to see what's going on behind the scenes on my PC. The Processes tab shows my running apps and a heat map of what's using the most CPU or what's using the most memory at a glance. To see what's been going on over time, I can switch to the Performance tab that has these handy graphs that show over the last few minutes what's been going on under the covers. To see what's been going on for the last few weeks, we have the App History tab that can show me over a period of time which apps have used the most network bandwidth or the most CPU. Another area that we've made much better is file copy. All file copies have now been consolidated into a single window. I can pause them individually, and I can also see a graph of speed over time. Windows 8 is natively connected to the cloud. That means that it's connected to the services and content on the web that I care about. For instance, I see that a mail came in on the start screen that I need to reply to. When I reply to it, I decided that I want to attach a picture for her. When I do so, it brings up the picker. The picker shows me, of course, not just photos and files on my PC, but also from a set of cloud-enabled apps. And the Photos app brings together photos from Facebook, from SkyDrive, from Flickr, all in one place. And I can pick something directly from that service through the Photos app and attach it to Mail. To get to the charms with the mouse, I'm gonna to move to the upper right-hand corner, and then I'm gonna click on the Search Charm. I can start typing, and as I do, Internet Explorer returns search results for the word that I typed in. I can also switch to other apps to see what would happen if I search for that same term within that app. This makes it really easy to search the entire system in a fast and fluid way and see everything that's on my PC. So we've shown you some of the apps that are included in the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, but many, many more apps are available in the Windows Store. The Windows Store has games and apps to suit any interest. You can navigate through it easily. You can read reviews of apps. You can see more details about them. And with just a few clicks, they're installed onto tiles on your start screen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We're so proud to share with you the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. You can download it and try it today by visiting preview.windows.com. Thank you.